Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well with your lessons. Today we're going to have a language revision. We're going to revise the things that we've learned in the last chapter. Please open your books on page 61. We will start with the grammar part. Exercises that deal with grammar. Complete the sentences so they mean the same. Use a correct form of the passive. So we've got some sentences here with a certain gaps that you have to fill them by using the passive voice as we've learned during this chapter. Einstein didn't discover the first antibiotic. The first antibiotic, you've got a gap here and then by Einstein. How would you use the passive in this case? The first antibiotic wasn't discovered by Einstein. Number two, they didn't grow grapes in England in the past. Which means that in the past, grapes weren't grown in England. Number three, volunteers run the charity shop. That is to say, the charity shop is run by volunteers. Number four, they checked passports at the border. So this implies that passports Passports were checked at the border. People make shoes out of the leather. So shoes Shoes aren't made of leather. There's another way of expressing something. So, the passive voice is another form of expressing uh, something. We're going with the next exercise. You have to complete the sentences with the correct form of could or was able to. We've got the given sentences here. Which one would you use in the first sentence? Could or was able to? She was clever. She She could write by the age of three. She was able to write by the age of three. So we can use both in, in this case. Now, what would you say for the second? You've got two gaps which you have to complete them. Is it could or was able to the expressions that you would use in this case. Were they able to reach the top of the mountain? So it's were able the expressions that we have to use in this case. Number three, Tony took a map so he is it could or was able to? Tony took a map so he could find the hotel later or he could he was able to find the hotel later. So both of these expressions are correct in this case. We can say he could find the hotel later, he was able to find the hotel later. And the last one we have when I was young, I you, you've got to uh, use could or was able to ski but now I can. What do you think? Could you use just one of these expressions or you have to use them both? You can use them both. Yes, so it's when I was young 
I could ski but now I can or I wasn't able to ski but now I can. Now you have to choose the correct option. So we've got some sentences here which require a non-defining relative clause. You have to choose between whose, where and who or which. The relative clause that is appropriate for each gap, you have to circle it. What do you think for the first one? David Barry. Is it A, B, C? It's C. David Barry, who is from London, is an artist. Now we've got sentence two. Javier Bardem. Is it A, B or C? It's C. Javier Bardem, whose uncle was a film director, is a famous actor. Number three, the Niagara Falls. A, B or C? It's B. The Niagara Falls, which are three water wa waterfalls, are on the U.S. and Canadian border. And the last one, we've got Jamaica. Is it A, B or C? It's A, Jamaica, where the sun often shines, is a top tourist de destination. Let's proceed with vocabulary. How much words did we learn during this chapter? Or are there phrases that we don't really know how to use them? Let's check. Complete the words to make materials. So there are some words presented here which are incomplete. You have to find what are the letters that are missing. Which are the missing letters? Number, number one, it starts with PL. What word is it here? PL bottle. What's PL? What kind of letters would you add here? It's plastic. Plastic bottle. Number two, SU. It's side shoes. Number three, it starts with W O. What kind of letters would you add here to complete the word? Wooden table. It's wooden. Number four, L E jacket. What's this word? What kind of letters are missing there? It's leather jacket. Number five, CA box. What kind of word is it here? It's cardboard box. Number six, C-O shirt. It's cotton shirt. Match the first half of a word in A to the second half in B to make landscape words. So, as you can see, the words are divided into parts. You have to combine the missing parts, the other part. So, um, let's try to find number one, which is its missing syllable. 
a one goes with the valet. What would you say for number two? It's bush. Number three. Coast. Number four. Volcano. Number five. Hill. Number six. Island. Number seven. Waterfall. Number eight. Forest. So these are the words that we can find from the combinations that we've made. Now you have to circle the word that is different. So we've got here four rows which you have to find which word is different for each number. Number one we've got bush, harbor, skip and path which is different from the others different in the context, in the meaning, or grammatical function. It's skip. This is different because it's a verb. The others are nouns. Number two, we've got push, design, pull, lift. Which is different in this case? It's design. In this case, four of these words are verbs, but design has a different meaning from the others that are presented. Number three, drop, fall, invite, dive. Invite is different. It has a different meaning from the, the others that are presented. Number four, survive, trip, slip, jump, which is different. It's survive, different from the others. Homework. Please try to complete page 47 on your workbook. Thank you for your attention. We will meet next time with the next lessons. Have a good time.